I have just five minutes to spend $500 or pounds on eBay buying nothing but Pokemon card products. And I'm gonna unbox them all in this video as well. I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea what I'm gonna buy. Maybe we can find some hidden gems. Maybe we're gonna end up with trash. But all in all, five minutes, $500 nothing but pokemon cards timer starts now okay we're on ebay right here i'm just gonna type in pokemon cards that's the first thing to do five minutes is not a long time you know i'm doing uk only as well just so we get cards that we can find close by i don't want single cards necessarily i want boxes i want boxes of stuff this, i've wasted a minute doing nothing let's do mystery box 75 euros walmart mystery box i feel like that's a lot of money from the uk let's try one let's try one why not why not all right job lot pokemon all right we're gonna get one of these 30 pounds sealed product boosters tins etv etc okay you know what these look nice add to basket now you know what we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna get this why not we're gonna trust this guy called ollie we're gonna trust them we're gonna trust them another cheap mystery box add to basket sealed pokemon what's in our basket now 235 we've got, we've got half to go here we go brand new seal blastoise ex collector's tin make offer no, buy it now. Add to basket. There we go. Kyoga EX tin. Let's go. Okay, okay. One minute to go. 200 pounds to spend. Pokemon ETV. Shining Legends. I like Shining Legends. Where's that from? Is that from UK? All right, add to basket. Pikachu. Let's go. Trident cards. More than 10 available. 25 each. The card guy in UK. Okay, we have we have five seconds. Four packs. Four packs. Add to basket. There we go. There we go. So we have four packs of... <laughs> Shine Legends. I'm not sure if that's even worth it. A box of Shine Legends, a sealed tin for 70 quid, a mystery box, another Walmart mystery box thingy that Leon Hart Poker Rev do. We have a job lot here, and then we have another mystery box. You know what? 500 pound, 23 postage. That's over the budget. We actually spent $677, 500 pounds, but that's fine. There we go, guys. That's what I've got in my basket. Let's see what arrives and let's see what we get in these packs, okay? All right, so we are back in this video. I'm not sure what type of transition I did, so if that, if, you know. I'm back. Anyway, I've now got the parcels next to me. Some of them. I've got four packages next to me. No, five. I've got five packages and we ordered seven things. You guys will have seen what I just ordered. So we're going to open the boxes now and see what we got. But anyway, this is part two. Welcome back to the video. Um, it's about two and a half weeks later now. So I've completely forgotten what happened in the first one. So this is going to be somewhat of a surprise, even though I've got the purchases next to me on the, on the list on eBay. Let's just open the packages, guys. This is the first package. Now, what is this? Oh, shout out to Pokedean. Okay, wow. So this is not even... Okay, so this is my pack that I got from the box break that Pokedean did. Right, it was coming to my PO box. So this wasn't even a part. Yeah, this wasn't. Okay, it wasn't even part of the video. But okay, anyway, cool. This is my pack that I got, guys. You can see the pack that I got. Voltorb, Paris, Giovanni, Zubat, Diglett, Staryu, Energy, Ivysaur. Kind of cool. Kadabra and Raticate. And the rare, or the potential holo, was the Giovanni's last resort. So unfortunately, I did not get a holo. I think Simon got, like, Giovanni's... Gyarados or something like that. But anyway, I'll pop those into one sleeve just so they are sleeved and then I'll put them into individual ones after the video. Right, so that's good. At least we saw that. Shout out to Pokedean. But now that means that I've got less parcels than I actually thought I did. So yeah, okay, let's see. All right, next up we have this box right here with a letter. So, hey there, thank you for ordering my 20 pound mystery box. I hope you enjoy what's inside. Uh, if you like it, please check my eBay store for other boxes. So cute saw 69. Yep, there we go. So 20 pound mystery box is what I ordered. Let's see what we got for our 20 pounds. And uh, let's see whether it was worthwhile. Also, guys, I did all of this with my normal eBay account. So there's a chance they might have given me better stuff because they're my channel uh, to try and get promotion. I'm not saying that this person did that. I'm just saying full disclosure when you're watching this, just in case, you know, you might want to consider that is what I'm saying. Here we go. We've got a Kanto tin right here. Two celebrations and one Darkness of Blaze. So let's get the Darkness of Blaze open. Four from the back. Give it a tap. We've got a Fire Energy. We have Flaffy. <laughs> Where do I put that card? Carvanine. Big Parasol. Clink, Marini, Torchic, Starly, <laughs> Skarmory, these cards are just falling down, Purloin, and a Thievul. All right, and now into the celebrations packs. Come on, let's get something big. Let's get something absolutely massive. There's the code card for you people. Let's go. They're always so bent when they come out of those tins, right? Palkia. You know what? Let's move this like that. I'm so stupid. Just do that originally, Randy. Palkia, Dialga, Diamond and Pearl. And then we have... Hey! <laughs> Birthday Pikachu and then a surfing Pikachu. But as you can see, these cards are crazy warped. We've got another pack right here. Let's hope this one isn't as bent. Here we go. They are. They are. Cosmog. Blue gear. Let's go. And a Venusaur. Wow. They were two absolutely massive pulls from celebrations. There is the code card. 
sometimes I go through days where I don't enjoy celebrations, if that makes sense. Like, I do like it, and I do like the classic cards, and I know it's a really popular set, but this one was absolutely enjoyable because of the pools. They were fantastic, guys. So shout out to Cutesaw for the uh, mystery box so far. Oh, the tin was sublime. What else do we have in here? We have a drumstick. Damn, that's well worth the money. Let's go. Anything else in here? I'm always, I mean, I know, I know this is here. I'm going to open that, but I'm saying anything else, you know, in the rummage. And then in here we have a Kamoo, I think. Kamoo coin with damage counters. Pretty cool. Okay, so we've got a tin and this. I'd say that the pools made it worthwhile, but maybe alone it wouldn't. But then again, these mystery box creators got to make money. So I respect the hustle, I respect the grind, and I got a drumstick. So let's go. Shout out to this mystery box right here. Next package, guys. I gotta open the boxes like this to not reveal my address. That's all good. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully you can see me. If you're watching this still, leave a like down below. Ooh, okay. Nice. This is our Shining Legends Pikachu promo box. You might think to yourself, leave that sealed. But no, no, no. Open for content. You get a Pikachu promo card, which I actually really like. This promo card's really nice. That's a great promo right there, guys. Lovely, lovely design. Lovely holo pattern. There we go. I, I wish I had ace graders on tap. I wish I had one sat next to me right here just to quickly, what would you give this card? <laughs> I love the fact that they, they're so good at it. But yeah, Pikachu right here. You know what I should do? I should get, the graders should teach me one episode. We should get one of the graders on from ace to teach me um, what to look out for on our cards. You know, they're getting so much experience right now. They're so talented. It'd be sick to know that, you know? Or I should just grade the cards. Do you know what I'm saying? I should grade the cards at some point. And then we have three packs of Shining Legends. One of my favorite sets, I was not actually actively opening or collecting cards when this set came out. So I was kind of late to it. I came back for Hidden Fates and then got back into Shining Legends. You guys all have seen it on the channel. I went absolutely crazy. It was actually Magic Madhouse, right? So me and Josh Zerka, we were, we were just... I saw the packs for like eight quid. So I was like, I'll buy a hundred of them or something like that. Then the next day they went to like 14 pounds. Then he bought loads. The next day we just kept buying them. And every day they would just go higher and higher in price. And now they're just... Uh, out of reach, so I guess sorry. Um, anyway, Fighting Energy, Electrode, Floatzel, Scrafty, Larvesta, Scraggy, Croconaw, Jinx, Darling, no, that's Chansey Darling, Plusle, a Reverse Hollow Go Lurk, and a Keldeo Hollow. Obviously, you are guaranteed to get a Hollow in every pack of Shining Legends. We have one, two, three, four, add a Clara Thumb Wall with your sister's. Uncle. I don't know why I keep doing you'll see your uncle. I'm so sorry guys. Scraggy, Quillfish, Torkoal, Minon, Jinx again, Warp Energy, and the final card is a Shaman Hollow. Let's go. Okay. I wish it was a shining Pokemon and I'm too <laughs> proud to admit that. We have one final pack from Shine Legends. Let's see if we can pull a shining Pokemon, guys. Shining Jirachi, Shining Mew. Some absolutely bangers in here. Shining Rayquaza, as you guys will know. Shining Lugia does exist, but not in here. It's a promo. Um, and I actually did pick up a lot of those promos to send to Graydon. Uh, and they have come back now. So I have those back. I think I sent 33 off to Graydon. So look out for that video or look out for Pokeran.net soon. Ekin Snake backwards, my guy. Let's go. We have a Breloom, a Howl, Howl Sway. And the final card is a Latios. Okay. So it's not a shining Pokemon, so we didn't get any shinings in this triple pack opening right here. But we did get a Latios, Shaman, and Keldeo. And you know what? I like Latios, so awesome. Next up, we have this box right here. Ooh! It's a mystery box. Let's go. And we get sweets. Let's go. I always love getting sweets. Shout out to Sports Trading Card UK as well. An awesome sports uh, trading card store. Um, they always put sweets in my orders as well, so I appreciate that. Well, they do it for everyone. All right, here we go. First of all, I mean... I'm gonna eat these sweets off camera because I wanna film for you guys, but I'm really excited to eat those. My mouth was watering then. Let's see, let's open. There's no numbers on them, so we're gonna open them like this. And you know what, I really like Mr. Oh, let's go, <laughs> come on. Tank Fastics, hey yo, this is not even Pokemon at this point, this is just sweet, and I'm not mad about it. I'm literally not mad about it. All right, package number two. I was going to go on to say, mystery boxes are really fun. I've always had messages, and so has Cal when we do, when he makes them for us, like to make them pe for people. But I don't like the idea, sometimes I don't like the idea of people selling them, because obviously the person has to make money. So essentially, you're never going to get a mystery box that's worth more, or you could do, I guess. Maybe they do it on averages. Anyway, I'm not, I think a lot of people can be shady about it. This person so far seems really cool and seems really fun. Um, I think if you do it safe, it's a good thing. If you do it... Not safe, it's a bad thing. So I guess it just depends, you know. But the idea of them are so, it's so, so cool. Mystery boxes are great. Ooh, we got some packs in here, I think, guys. 
So let's check these out. Four packs of Fusion Strikes. So we'll open those in a minute. See if we can get that Gengar, that SP on that Mew. I think Fusion Strikes are a really underrated set. A lot of people give it a hard time, but there's some really good cards in that set. Well packaged, I'll say, from this mystery box right here. Very, very well packaged. We have, oh, a tin, another Celebrations tin. Let's go. These are quite good to put in mystery boxes as well because I think they're quite, you know, not too hard to get. But the potential in them is incredible. Like, obviously, we've got that Venus over four. So the potential inside these Celebrations tins is massive. And wow, this one right here is really heavy, guys. Yes, yeah, so this one was £30, guys, just to give you a idea of uh, what I paid here. And ooh, let's go. Hey, let's go. So we've got some soft sleeves. We've got some semi-rigids. And we have some resealable team bags. Okay, so obviously, hand on my heart, I am affiliated with, you know, Pokey ran semi rigids, so I have to back them. But you know what? Shout out to anyone who's making something uh, of their collecting, of their hobby, and, and, and a business like this. People think sometimes because I have my own brands that I'm, I just hate ev every other brand. I'm not like that at all. I'm very, I'm very appreciative of anyone out there who does this, who creates this. You know, if you can create products for a community that needs it, then you need to be celebrated. You know, um, and who cares that I have my own? Sh celebrate, you know, card concepts, semi rigids. Let's go. Shout out. Come on. Sometimes I think people in the Pokemon community need to be reminded that it's just Pokemon. You know, we love it. We love Pokemon. Sometimes people can get too heated and too, you know, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say, but yeah, just we love Pokemon, right? That's what we're all here for. So let's enjoy it together. Come on, we want that Charizard, guys. We want Charizard. Let's go. Or Houndoom Full Art. Let's see. I've called it, guys. I've called it. Oh, it's a redeem pack. Why did I look at that, man? Oh, actually, you never know because the packs are all weird now. You could have something good in this. Soul Rock. Steeny. Essentially, what I'm saying is you can get green code cards that still produce hollows. Um, so you never know until you know. Jigglypuff. Duckleet. Carablast. Bunnel B. And the final card is A. Swanner. So in this case, the green code card was correct. <laughs> Banter. We have celebrations right here. So let's open these and see what we got. Here we go. We have Reshiram. Wyveltal. We have... Oh, no classic collection in this pack right here. We have the Mew Hollow and then the code card. If you want to scan that in. Celebrations number two. Let's go. We have Wyveltal. Groudon. Come on for classic collection. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, let's go. It's not a Charizard or anything crazy, but it is the Imposter Professor Oak, so we'll take that. And we also have the Pikachu Full Art from Viridian Forest at the back and the code card. So far, so good. And now we have Fusion Strike. I'm, I am just going to open these quite quickly, if you don't mind. We've got a Makahita here. Let's see what we have in this pack. We have a... Inteleon V as one of the pools. Very, very nice. But sometimes in videos where I've got so much stuff to open, I like to kind of breeze through the packs, you know? We have Phalanx. Nothing in this pack, although the Absol is a really, really nice artwork. I'm still going to do the card trick, actually. I'm not such a, you know, bar humbug. We've got a Psych Energy. We have da -da 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 Growlithe. Shout out to Simon Miniminter. And then a Gorvis. I've got a really good video coming tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow's video is going to be Simon, aka Miniminter's first ever Ace Graden return. Really good video. We had loads of fun filming that the other night. Um, so look forward to that, guys. And you know what? We're going to slow roll this pack right here. We have a Metal Energy. Turtonator, love that name. Pukumuku, love that name. Schoolgirl, <laughs> awkward. Woo, Lou, let's go. Pancham, Glorian Daramaka, Indeedy. Ooh, Growlithe, non hollow. Cross Seaver, and the final card is a. Ah, Kangaskhan. Right, so thumbs up from me for both these mystery boxes so far. Um, some good, good products, some good packs, and some really nice sweets. All right, guys, one final box. This has come out of it so far. Pretty really hard. Like, I need to actually just scribble out the addresses beforehand. Oh, let's go. I know what that is. That is the Kyogre EX tin that we got in the first half. Finally arrived. Here we go. Oh, Kyogre EX. And what is in here? Stickers. Nice one. We've got some Nintendo album stickers. Very, very nice. And we have the Kyogre EX tin. So, we are missing, so far, the four packs of Shining Legends. Walmart mystery box, which actually, shout out to the seller. He did message me. I think he had a busy Christmas. That's the trouble with doing videos like this. I have waited like two weeks since I first filmed it. So I think sometimes we have to say if they don't arrive, they kind of don't arrive and I'll do it in a future video. I love how I'm just casually, <laughs> how much is this tin? 70 quid. I'm casually just opening the seal of this tin right here. This tin in like, you know, 10, 15 years will be like 300 quid, but tins always seem to do well. But anyway, I'm gonna open it because I love this Kyogre right here. There you go, guys. Here's the Kyogre promo card and we get a code card. And then we get some cool packs. So we get Primal Clash, Primal Clash, Phantom Forces, and Furious Fists. Let's open these. I feel like we didn't do that well in terms of the value. We spent 500 pounds, right? And I feel like we could have done better. Um, I'm not sure which way the code cards go around in this set right here. So we're gonna just do three from the back. We have a Torchic. Oh, I love these ancient trait cards. They're so, so cool. 
Let's get some zoom on this. There we go. We've got Torchic right here. Tentacle. Oh, these are so cool, man. Ha, <laughs> Tentacle, get it? Bunnelby. These are like ancient trait cards. They're almost like full arts. I wonder if some of these should deserve an ace label from Ace. What do you guys think? I know they're commons, but, you know, could be nice to get some commons graded with Ace labels. Tynamo. Torchic. Really, really cool artwork. Star U. Is that Kamiya? That is Kamiya. Let's go. Really cool Star U card. We have a Lotad. We have a reverse hollow ancient trait, so the tentacle. And the final card, ladies and gentlemen, is a no way. God of War EX. So not a secret rare, just a regular EX. Uh, if you're collecting in Sword and Shield and you only have ever collected in Sword and Shield, EX is obviously similar to the V cards or the GXs from Sun and Moon. So even though sometimes we get the cards that's kind of, you know, I'm doing V, etc. And we're thinking, oh, it's just a V card. Over time, they do become a little bit more, you know, desirable. So we've got another Primal Clash pack right here. Dive Ball. Tentacle, again for the third time. Vibrava. Feebas. So we were... Oh, slug my balls. So we were quite um, lucky with the ancient trait cards from last time. We got three. Lotad, shout out to Nar. We got Meditite. We have a Reverse Hollow Nido Queen, which is actually really cool. I love the, I love the pattern on here, the Psychic type pattern. And the final card from this pack is a Ludicolo Ancient Trait Rare. Not a hollow, but we'll take that. Very, very nice card. We're now on to Phantom Forces. So let's see what we can pull within Phantom Forces. I want to get like a sick secret rare. Three from the back. You know what? Give it a tap. I'm feeling good about this one. Manectric Spirit Link for the Mega Manectric. Dimension Valley. Boldor. Poochiena. Murkrow. Litleo. Finian. Fletchling. Oh, wow. Reverse Hollow High Dragon. So that's a reverse rare, which is really nice to get when you're opening a set that, you know, is, is a few generations old or a couple generations old. And the final card, guys, is a... Oh, Mega... No way! Mega Manectric! That is so joke, because I said literally... That we, we got the Spirit Link, didn't we? And I was like, that's for Mega Manectric. So now, guys... If we're in a battle, if someone approaches in the streets and they're like, hey, I challenge you to a Pokemon card battle, I'll say, Manetric Spirit Link, and I'll evolve it. Even though I don't have the Manetric right now, <laughs> that's still cool. So that's really cool. And then we have Furious Fists to end off this tin, the Kyogre EX tin. Let's hope for a banger. Again, not looking at the code card. Throw that over there. Three from the back. We've got to give it a tap for the last pack. Let's go. We have a Fossil Researcher, Clefable. Jaw Fossil, Mind Fu, Clauncher, Magmar, Pikachu, Clefairy. Oh, that is sick. Reverse Hollow Rare again. We're getting lucky with the Reverse Rare. Is this time a Leafeon? That is really, really cool. Love that card. And the final card, guys, is a. Oh, it is a Hollow. So we did get a pull. We got a Noivan, which is kind of cool. But I actually like this Reverse Hollow. A bit more, guys. The leafy on reverse hollow is very, very cool. Problems with the corners, as you can see, but that's really, really nice. Right, so let me just quickly do a sweep of my flat to see if I've got any more parcels arrived. Guys, that's all she wrote. Now, if you're watching this video and you're someone who has sent these parcels, uh, don't worry. Sometimes with the PO box, cards can, or deliveries can get held at the Royal Mail sorting office. Then they go to my PO box and then they go to my concierge. So sometimes it just doesn't get to me that quick. Um, I will open everything that arrives in future videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you keep coming back every day to watch the new content. Um, and you'll probably see the rest of them. So we're waiting for the mystery box. So the uh, Walmart mystery box. We can get a vintage pack, I think. We're waiting for the four Shining Legends packs and we're waiting for the job lot. So I'll present those in future videos. But I think we've still had a great time opening these packs today. I will give away... Let's give away in this video, you know what? Let's give away the Kyogre, let's give away the God of War, and let's give away the High Dragon, okay? So this will go to one person. All you gotta do, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then comment down below anything you want to be entered into the competition. Laura's been giving away all of these. Fun fact, <laughs> as I said before, every person who's won so far, or literally like 99% have been <laughs> overseas. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching, much appreciated, and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. For now though, take care and peace out.